For a dramatic fire rescue today, Clinton Graves was pulled from the burning home by two good Samaritans who worked across the street from that home. Talk about being at the right place at the right time. 12 News reporter Jordan Foster talked with Graves' brother who walked us through exactly what happened inside that smoke-filled home. This is probably from... From the time the flame started to when they had it out, it was probably maybe 10 or 15 minutes. In a Facebook Live, Eric Graves explains the moments before his brother, Clinton, was rescued. My dad is not able to get my brother out. Well, that's when this guy across the street, thank God for him and another guy. He says his brother was severely injured when he was hit by a drunk driver in 2009. But this incident could have been life-threatening. Clinton Graves was asleep when the house caught fire. He was only able to crawl from his bedroom to the living room where heroes found him on the floor. They see my brother and my dad fell somehow too. He's 70. They pulled both of them out. Just they so the being Tommy so Gilcrease and Terry Muleman, two Vider ISD maintenance workers who saw the whole thing from the office across the street. Eric says they came you know, just in time. Mm -hmm. And I was told by, by the, uh, the paramedics that it, probably two or three more minutes my brother would have been dead. So they wouldn't have got here and t just rushed here. And, and when they saw the flames on at the end of this road here on Highway 90, he, he would have been dead. Now Eric is anxious to meet the heroes. Yeah, lives and pictures are okay. So uh, yeah, we're, I'll be forever, whole family indebted to those two people, you know, that, that raced over here. And like you said, that you don't really know how you're going to react in, 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 a, in a tragic situation until you're in it. You either, you know, you, sometimes you stay there or you, or you run toward it in this situation. Thank God they ran toward it. A run that saved a man who could barely walk. Inviter, Jordan Foster, 12 News. That fire appeared.